Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to talk about something a lot of people don't know a whole lot about. We're going to talk about noceums. Are you getting bit in your house? Are you worried you might have bed bugs? Are you worried you might have fleas, but you haven't seen any other signs? Like with bed bugs, typically you find like little blood spots or even some little black smears on your bed or your uh, mattress box spring. Uh, fleas, you know, typically you will find them like in your socks. If you wear white socks or uh, pants or on your legs, you usually will see them hopping off of you. Uh, no seams. A lot of people call them no seams because you can't see them. They're so small you can't see them. The, you actually can see no seams. What they are are they are really teeny tiny mosquitoes. Um, they can fly through the screens if you have a home that you have maybe some screened in windows like I'm looking at mine right now I have screened in windows I have a window unit air conditioning system so I, uh, I do take out my window units in the winter uh, and in the spring I like to leave my windows open and allow for the nice cool breezes and the warm days and stuff to blow through the house um, noceums are attracted to the co2 that your body gives off so basically every mammal gives off co2 when you breathe you give off co2 uh, you'll give it off through your through your uh, skin and everything so they're attracted to basically the gases that you give off um, so what happens is when you have a a problem with noceums the way you diagnose this typically as a pest control professional like me when I go in a home I find someone is bit up real bad and they don't have bed bugs, they don't have fleas, um, they don't have you know any other signs of any other kind of biting type like ants. Ants will bite you. You know, don't think you've automatically got no seams. You may have some ants if you see some ants crawling across the bed or something like that. It's very possible that you have ants because they will bite you. Um, so what you want to do is you want to look around your windows. You want to look around your doors your eaves around outside the house if you've got a lot of shrubbery growing right up next to the wall of your house what shrubbery will do <laughs> is it will um attract moisture it will trap it in next to the house it'll keep it nice and damp and humid and that's what mosquitoes like and so you need to a lot of times you need to actually treat your bushes you can get pesticides that you can use on the bushes for mosquitoes uh, you may need to treat your yard if you've got a real damp yard. Uh, you know, if you have a lot of tree cover, like if you live in the woods, you'll need to, um, you know, try to rake up leaves, keep, keep things that would, uh, like hold water, like old tires and stuff. You want to throw those away, get rid of them. You know, they have uh, programs where they even recycle used tires. So, you know, get rid of everything that can hold water. Mosquitoes don't need but like a thimble full of water to breed in. They don't need very much at all. So, um, and also up around the house, like I was saying, in shrubbery, bushes and things that give shade, mosquitoes will hang out in places like that. Ticks will hang out in places like that. So you want to treat those areas really well up against the wall of the house. And up high in the eaves of the house, a lot of times... <sighs> Excuse me. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> but, um... On the outside of the house, up near the eaves of the home, um, you will get uh, mosquitoes like to roost there during the heat of the day um, because it's shaded. And so if you don't have a lot of shrubbery, they may just be uh, roosting on your eaves. And just because you don't see them on the eaves, check spider webs and things. A lot of times spiders will catch them if they're roosting in a certain area. And that'll give you a good indication as to where you need to treat for mosquitoes. So hopefully this has explained what noceums are, what you can do to try to eliminate noceums around your house. Like I said, a lot of people, some people will even look at you and think that you don't know what you're even talking about. If you tell them, I've got noceums, they'll act like you're crazy. Um, but no, they actually are a thing. They are real. They're really teeny tiny mosquitoes. You can see them. Uh, it's just they're so tiny that a lot of times you don't see them. But they're actually smaller than fleas or about the size of a flea and they fly and they can easily like i said fit through the screen of your window um if your windows are open so you want to try to close your windows 
Like I said, I've got air conditionings. You want to try to seal around your window units really well if you have a window unit because they can still come in around the window units if you don't seal around your window units. Um, whether it's a special, uh, some people I've seen to keep them out, they've used that special duct tape, you know, for like, uh, not duct tape, the real sticky stuff, because you don't want to tear your windows up, but that special type of tape that you can actually tape around your windows to try to seal it out. Uh, if you're going to plan on taking your window units out. Some people leave their windows units in all year. You can get the special um, you know, insulation to go around the outside of the window that will protect it, uh, even in the wintertime, that you can put on it like a cover. So hopefully this has helped you. Uh, thanks, everybody, for your support. If you like the video, like it, share it, pass it around to your friends, and uh, I'll be seeing you next time. Also, Jabron, thank you for... Uh, he's my Patreon. I do offer... Uh, uh, free and and very low income housing uh, benefits to bed bug treatments. I try to give them cheaper bed bug prices. I try to do the service. And some people I even do it for free if I've got the income. Uh, then I do it for free. But I do save all of my Patreon. Uh, everything that comes from Patreon goes to a special account. And I take that money and I put it towards needy families in Virginia for bed bugs. So thank you again, Jabron. He's my only Patreon. <laughs> But, you know, you guys are really great. I really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, pass me around, share it. If you have any other questions, this actually, this video itself was made because of a viewer request. I had a lady that watches my channel, and she was asking what to do about no -Sims. She didn't understand what to do about it. I made a video. Hopefully this will help other people with her similar problem. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I'm available on Facebook basically 24-7, uh, Green Acres Pest Control LLC. You can send me a message there. and uh, Or you can you know, go to my website, fill out a form on my website. I'll call you, you know, whatever. No need to you know, worry about it anymore. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Guys, have a really great night, day, whatever time it is where you live. Appreciate it. Thanks.